Hey what's up guys welcome back to my YouTube channel again and welcome to the first episode of uh, library of the week so in this series I will talk about one particular library which can help you in a lot of ways so yeah that's the series all about so it's it's a flutter based series so every example will be about flutter so today we will talk about the networking tool so if you do a lot of get or post requests or any network request then this library is for you and i have been using it a lot in my um, other projects and uh, it's been really a good thing for me so um, if you are an android developer then you might be already familiar with uh, something like chuck so it's it's basically like that so we are talking about allies here so as you can see in this example uh, so right now as you can see i have this screen where we have uh, two kind of uh, libraries which we are using one is the normal http library and uh, second one is do so i i am believing that uh, you are using either of them either http or do so if you are using any of them then this video is for you for sure if even if you are not using them then might my, my, it, it might be possible that you may be using um http client but uh, i'll suggest why to use http client when you can use uh, of such a nice package especially packages like do so yeah definitely try it out uh, so that's a very separate video i'll make on do but this video is for alice or allies whatever you want to call it uh, so basically what's happening here is so there are two separate uh, libraries and both have uh, two kind of request one is get request another is post request so i have written the ui as you can see on the main dot dart we have something called uh, a global key for uh, which is for navigator and uh, then in the my app section in the material app we are passing this key and then we are going to allies example so in the allies example if you will see uh, we have just you know uh, a column where we have two rows where we have get and post buttons and then we are doing get request and post request and in this particular example i am using json placeholder to uh, to make some network requests and then we have a text which is uh, for displaying output if if there is no output or it is null then we will just display show output here like here and now let me just show you so what's happening if you see here then we have just uh, uh, an object for do and uh, HTTP works directly because um, it's it's kind of uh, just a singleton. So here you can see the HTTP request is like this when I am just saying HTTP dot get and it's it's keep going to give me some data. Similarly, there's a post request, but you have to perform JSON record yourself. But when you are dealing with DO, it's kind of the same. Uh, we can just replace it with do so it's it's kind of the same but the only difference here is that you don't have to do any kind of json decode because it already does that for you it just decodes the body itself so you can just uh, get the body using this response so now i'll just uh, press this get button on the http and let's see what we get so as you can see we get this data which is uh, more like I can say that uh, it's it's one post which we got. So this is what actually we are hitting. And now if I do a post request, so let me just do it. And you can see we have seen this name HTTP and ID 101. So this is what I am passing in the body itself. So that's what we are getting. Now when it comes to DO, then we are just hitting some posts. Uh, so we should get a number of posts and there are number of posts so i uh, i have like you know changed a little bit between all these requests so that you can understand the difference so these are a lot of posts as you can see and now if i do a post request then you will see this time name is do and id is 101 again the output and this is what i am passing in the body so this is fine but how interceptors can help us so interceptor can help us in a way when let's say you don't know uh, what kind of output is coming or what is the request we are sending you cannot debug it all the time using you know print statements or console statements something like that so in that case you can use in, in your pub spec yaml as you can see i have do and http now i will add one more dependency which will be allies so the version which is right now is 0.0.18 which is uh, in a very early stage but i have been using it it works perfectly so now what we will do as soon as we will get this package um so it's it's fetching the package for us and as soon as we will get it we'll just start uh, using it 
so um yep 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 it is it's almost done so yeah this series uh has this repository flutter best packages so every time you have to see it so just go to this repository and you can watch it uh now what we will do we will here we will import allies and uh, so allies allies dot dart and we will get allies here similarly we will say allies allies okay and when we are initializing it so we can say allies is equal to new allies and then if you want the notification then you can just make it true and then uh, you have to pass the navigator key so we will pass the navigator key from our um, so if you know we can import it from main.dart and then uh, it asks you whether uh, what else if you want to give dark theme so yes there is a dark theme option as well you can just make it true and there will be dark theme and then if you want to show the inspector on shaking of the device then also you can enable it so both of them are not necessary right now so this is how you will initialize allies now i'll show you how you can use it with http request so as soon as you will re receive this response what you have to do is you have to say allies don http response just pass the response to this and that's it so similarly what i'll do i'll just copy and paste it in the um here in the post http http request as well now if i just press this button there will be some error because when we are using a plugin so yeah this is the error which we got so we have to restart our application to make it work because uh, every time you add a plugin then um you need to restart it so that everything can be initialized properly so that's the idea and uh, yeah let's see how much time it takes um, um um so basically the idea for this is that uh, when you are debugging it can be very helpful for you to see all the requests and all the responses in just one click via notification or even if you want to somehow want to show the inspector yourself then you can just say allies dot show inspector method and it will show the inspector for you so that's been the idea of this overall package and personally believe me i am a fan of this package because uh, it helps me a lot especially when you are dealing with you know uh, like a lot of http request with a lot of request uh, like you know data which has been flowing throughout the application then uh, it can be really helpful now we are almost done with this thing and uh, okay so now as soon as i'll press this get button you will see i got one notification on the top and it says allies http request one if i will click here then you can see this is the request which i did so let me just zoom a little bit so as you can see this is get request and uh, okay so this is the get request and uh, this is the url basically and this is the base url and here we have the status code as well 200 what is the time how much time it took if i click here then you can see overview what is the server endpoint started finish duration and all that then the request also so we didn't send body is empty and everything and in the response you will see this is the response which we got and if there is any error we can do that even we can save it on our database but for that you have to add a permission which is right extend right to external storage and you can also share it uh, using this particular thing so yeah that's the idea about this now let's go back and do a post request then again we will see that we have another notification here now we have two requests because we are using the same object so now this this one has a very different output it is 201 the status code is 201 which means something has been created now if i'll click method is post and in the request you will see i have this body name is equal to http that's the that's what i have sent here and in the response as well you will see that we have that this response status 201 bytes received is this every every information which you might be needing and the error as well uh, so yeah this is all good now if you want to use it with do it it has a very uh, a little separate approach you don't have to specify anything in the do methods when you are initializing do you can just say do dot add okay i guess it should work okay 
so i guess interceptors do dot interceptors dot add and you can add an interceptor here so because we haven't initialized allies yet so we'll just go after we initialized allies and here i can say allies dot get do inter interceptor and now i have to do a hot restart and now once i click on the get button in do then without adding any code you can see i got a notification but this time the http request is just one because you know uh, this is a very different object for do so that's why and the data is almost the same similarly if we do the post request then also you will see now we have two requests for this and it works fine now let's try to do a get request of http and this time you will see uh, we have three requests and this is a very different uh, thing now let's try one more thing and uh, let's so let's try this like uh, using the dark theme okay and uh, now let's do a hot restart once again and now let's do a get request and let's see what happens and you can see this is the dark theme uh, so this this is the idea just to give you an idea so you can definitely use this package and make sure there is one more um, I would say a disclaimer that don't use it in release mode because then everyone would be able to see everything so don't use it in uh, release mode at all if you want to uh, see that you know how you can disable that then uh, see my other videos where how to check whether it is release mode or debug mode there is a separate video on that also if you don't want to use the navigator key here then you can just say allies uh, so b basically don't use any navigator key here but in the main dot dot here you can just say allies dot if allies is already initialized then you can use its get network key uh, so get navigator key sorry so that's the idea i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then press the like button right now and also subscribe to the channel if you are not the subscriber already and also guys there's one more thing a little promotion i would say so as you can see i have this application click to chat where you can just write your phone number you can send a message to anyone on whatsapp without saving their phone number there is a new feature which i introduced which is click to analyze where you can write something here you can analyze and it will give you prediction whether that is positive or negative and how much positive and which sentence is negative so all these, these kind of things so definitely try you can even translate into a lot of languages so yeah that's that's something there is a cleaner there is a stories downloader so definitely give it a try and uh, i'll see you in the next video next week bye bye take care and keep fluttering